Fireworks lit up the nation's capital. It was the final 4th of July event, unlike anything Washington, D.C. has seen in decades. Highlighted by an American salute from President Trump. Katherine Johnson tonight from Washington. Today we come together as one nation with this very special salute to America. The president's salute to America 4th of July event in the nation's capital featured tanks and military vehicles, flyovers by the Navy's Blue Angels, pageantry and applause. All branches of the armed forces were on hand and hailed. Our nation is stronger today than it ever was before. President Trump's event generated days of advanced criticism from Democrats and others who accused him of politicizing Independence Day. Dishonors our, our troops, dishonors our service members and veterans because it's really uh, all about Trump. It was marked by protests like this one Thursday in front of the White House. The event still doesn't have a public price tag, but the flyovers alone cost tens of thousands of dollars an hour. The president promised the expense would be well worth it for what he marketed as the show of a lifetime. In his speech, President Trump ran through more than two centuries of iconic moments in American history. Exactly 50 years ago this month, the world watched in awe as Apollo 11 astronauts launched into space. In the audience, he honored Clarence Henderson, who took part in a sit-in at a Greensboro, North Carolina Woolworth lunch counter in 1960, a moment many say began the civil rights movement. Katherine Johnson, CBS News, Washington. Checking the history on this, this is the first time we know of in nearly 70 years that a sitting president has delivered a speech on the National Mall on Independence Day.